And now, views and interviews from the world of technology. Coming up, Sky News Tech Talk with Krista Holliman. My name's Eric, I uh, work with Earthcast. Um, I'm the chief product developer. Uh, basically, we're putting two cameras on the International Space Station. We're gonna kind of stream that footage over the internet. Uh, and my role is sort of uh, the web product development side of things. And why is the company doing this? Um, I mean, we're doing it because it's, I mean, why does anybody do anything? We're doing it to push the boundaries. You know, we're doing it to give a new perspective on the planet. Uh, you know, there's only, you know, there's, there's a couple, a couple things in space that can be considered video cameras. We're gonna be one of the first. Um, you know, and I think that's you know pretty compelling. We're kind of on the forefront of sort of the Earth, the modern age of Earth imaging and how it's going to go. So. so how is this different from Google Earth? For example? Well, I mean, Google Earth, there's a lot of drawbacks there. First off, it's not video. Um, that's one of our big caveats is we actually have a video camera on the ISS so we can take real video of the Earth. Uh, Google Maps always, or Google Maps and Google Earth, you're also going to see uh, sort of stale imagery. Um, that's one thing that we want to kind of kind of change with our platform. We want to uh, provide more of a fresh look at the Earth. So, you know, the ISS goes around the planet 13, 14 times a day, and, uh, you know, it gives us the opportunity to image stuff really often and to image a lot of stuff. And, uh, you know, so we can update the imagery on our map pretty often. You know, and for, for Google, that's not always the case. Well, we actually have two cameras. So the first camera is a still camera, and it takes a really, really big image, and it kind of, that's the one that just kind of takes picture, picture, picture after picture. Now, our video camera is a little bit special because it's actually on, like, a pointable platform. So that means that we can basically send it coordinates It'll point at a spot on Earth, and as the ISS goes over, it's going to actually take a video of it. So we're going to have, you know, uh, two-minute clips, three-minute clips, one-minute clips. It all just depends. You know, if the city's over here or the, the item you want to look at is over here and the ISS is here, then we're going to kind of have this sort of thing. Right? You know, but, you know, a lot of stuff we'll want to go for is kind of the top down because that's really going to be the best look. How do you get cameras out of space? Um, well, it's not easy. Getting anything in space is actually a pretty big challenge, but uh, we have some pretty good partnerships in Russia. Uh, the ISS is kind of an international venture, uh, so there's... You know, a few avenues that you can take to get get on there, but the Russians are really keen on this project. We've uh, done a lot of work with them, uh, you know, and it's one of the only ways you can get to the ISS right now anyway. How do you make money on this? Well, the, the main streams of revenue, um, obviously, uh, if you know anything about the remote sensing industry, it's uh, people pay pretty good money for good satellite pictures. Um, that's something we're, we're going to be able to provide. Now, what you see on the internet is obviously going to be downgraded because it's way too high quality. If we stream the high quality stuff, it wouldn't work. Um, so, you know, that stuff is actually pretty valuable in, in the remote sensing industry. Uh, so that's one area of revenue. We also want to be completely open with our platform. We want to open it to developers of all kinds. We want to give them access to as much of our data as possible. Uh, now, we haven't went into our specific revenue model there, but there is money to be made on that. You know, and there's always like, you know, if it's, if it's you know, a commercial model, you know, it's going to be free, but, you know, if you're using it for commercial purposes, maybe we'll charge there. Uh, you know, if you get to a certain amount of requests in a day, something like that, we can charge there. Sky News Tech Talk, in association with First Tuesday, the UK's largest network for high-growth technology companies and their investors. For free membership, visit firsttuesday.org.uk.